What's up? My name's Technoba here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll show you how to download beta versions of OBS Studio as it may not be the most simple thing to find, especially if you're not a avid GitHub user. If you search download OBS and click the first link, obsproject.com, you'll be given a download link for Windows, Mac, and Linux. And upon clicking one of them, it'll simply download the latest release of OBS Studio, in my case, 27. This isn't the beta version, and it's not the most simple to understand for people who aren't used to open source software, how to download the beta version of OBS Studio. In this case, version 28, there's tons of new features and ones that I'll be covering in the description down below if you're so interested. To download a beta version of OBS Studio or a pre-release version, you'll need to look for the GitHub icon in the top right hand corner, or you'll find a link to the project in the description down below. You'll be taken across to the page that looks something like this. This is the OBS Studio source code, and you won't be clicking any download buttons here. What we need to do is look for the releases section, which in my case is located here. Previously, they have moved this around a little bit. And of course, you'll find the latest release here, which we can click to see the release notes and download the latest version. In my case, we want a pre-release, which won't be listed here. We'll need to click the releases title over here to be taken across to a page that lists out all of the releases over the years, of course, over multiple pages. As you can see, scrolling down a little bit, we have the latest release over here, but right above it, we'll have pre-releases. Sometimes these may be hidden behind dropdowns, and you may need to click expand to show them here. As this one is already expanded, you can see OBS Studio 28 Beta 1 pre-release, and scrolling past these release details over here, you'll see at the very bottom of this single post, we can expand the assets section here. Expanding assets, we get downloads for the actual software itself. In this case, we can see the Mac OS releases over here, as well as the Windows releases, the 64 bit installer, and the zip package that allows us to run OBS Studio without installing it. If you're testing new beta features, you may want to download the zip, extract it to a folder like on your desktop, and run it from there in order to test features. That way, you can keep your normal OBS Studio installed and working properly, especially if you're a full time streamer or YouTuber. Otherwise, you can click the full installer up here if you trust the latest beta release version to not be buggy enough to not use at all. Of course, you're more than free to come back here and download previous versions of OBS Studio if you find that these issues make it unusable. Of course, by using pre-release versions, it's also recommended that if you hit a bug, it's good to go across to the Issues tab at the very top over here and report your issue using their guidelines. Anyways, for me, I'll scroll down and click the full installer as that's what I'll be running here. I'll click the installer when it's done downloading, and from here, it's pretty much a normal install. Nothing's different to the official normal OBS Studio version, as this is the official beta version coming from their official OBS Studio GitHub repo. Everything's official and as safe as downloading the normal full release. Unfortunately, I won't be able to film installing OBS Studio, as well, simply, I'm recording with it at the same time. So opening it up, I'll click next here, and if you're running OBS Studio, you'll be prompted to retry after closing it. So here's where I'll need to skip through. And there we go, after reinstalling it, you can see it's the brand new beta UI. I'm not a huge fan of these big round buttons, but anyways, it is what it is. This is the latest release of OBS Studio, and of course, you'll see the version up here. In my case, 28 beta 1. Whenever updates come out, I'm pretty sure they'll update as per usual in the software here, though you may need to download them through GitHub. Regardless, you're now using the latest beta version of OBS Studio, Congratulations, and hopefully you don't run into any huge game-breaking bugs. Thank you for watching. My name's been Technobi here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!